In the previous video we learned to write uh, the Roman numbers till 10 and now we're going to learn above 10. All right? uh, till now we had what we have learned? We have learned these seven symbols uh, 1, 5, 10, 50 and then 100, 500 and uh, M represents 1000. And what I had told that if we are writing any 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 symbol first we are writing here whether it is 5 that is V or 50 that is L or C or M or D anything you are writing and if you are writing something in the right side that means you are going to add and something if you are writing in the left side that means you are going to subtract and now we are going to write above 10 and we know that the 10 is represented by X so let's discuss about and what I told you uh, one more thing that X can be repeated maximum three times okay so keep in mind so now uh, for the 10, I'm writing x. That's very simple. But for 11, in 10 I need to add 1. All right. 11 is actually what? 10 plus 1. And for adding, what do we do? We write in the right side or just after that symbol. Here also I told you already. Right. After that, if I'm writing in here, that means I'm going to add that much amount. So I have added i, and i is representing that is equivalence to 1. So that's why 10 plus 1, all right? 10 plus 1, that's going to 11. Similarly, now I'm writing 12. So if I'm writing 12, then what I have to do? I have to add 10 plus 2. And then 10 is x, and 2 I need to add. And what is 2? Here we had learned what is 2. 2 is 2i together, all right? So I'm writing 2i together. 1i and second i. So that's 12. And now to write 13, what I have to do, I just have to add thir 3, you know, 3 together. Now it is 1, 3, 13. What is 13? That is 10 plus 3. So 10 and uh, we will be adding this 3 there. So 11, 12 and 13. Okay. And now again, uh, if I have to write 14, then I will add 10 plus this 4. Alright. If I am writing 14, then what I will do, I will do 10 and then I will add 4. So, what is that? 10 and then 4. My 4 is IV, right? So, I and V. I write 14. That's pretty simple. Now, I'm going to write 15, right? So, 15. What is 15? Again, 10 and I'm going to add 5. What is that? Yes, 10 and V. And if I'm writing 16, same. 10 plus 6. And what is 6? X and V and then I. You know, because XVI is representing here 16. Now I'm writing 17, 18, 19, and 20. For 17, yes, same. 10 plus 7. So what is 10? X. And what is 7? V, that is 15, 16, and then 17. And now I'm writing 18. So 10 plus 8. And that is what? 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And now one rule comes again. That 3... 3i cannot be uh, write, more than 3i we cannot write, you know, it means I, I can't write one more here, so I cannot make it uh, 19 by adding, so I need to add this, 9 again, alright, so it is 1, 9, 19, that is actually 10 plus 9, what is that, x and then i and then x, so x representing 10 and this i x together represents 19. After that means this is 9 and this is 10. So 10 and this is 9. 10 plus 9 because I have a right, a right in the right side. So that's why it's 19. And for the 20, very simple. It is 20 and 20 is actually 10 plus 10. So it is 20, right? 2x because, because 20 is actually just 10 plus 10. And in 10 I'm going to add 10. So it is 20, double x, right? Now, we're going to write more than 20. So to write more than 20, again the same process. First I will write 20, suppose, and what is 20? X and X. And now if I'm writing 21, then what I will be doing, I'm following the same process. What I used to add here, I used to add I, you know. Same thing I'm doing here. Now it is 21. If I'm writing 22, what I will do? 1, 2, uh, that is 20, 10 plus 10, 20, 21. 22 and now I'm writing 23 so for 23 first 10 20 21 22 23 again I'm going to write 24 
So to write 24 again, 10, 10 added, 20, 21, and then 4. Uh, sorry, this, this together I need to say this 24 it is. All right, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna write uh, three uh, after three i. I cannot add more i. So four i cannot come together. Okay. So 24 it is, and now let's write 25. So how to write 25? Yes, first 20 and then v. All right, same we did in the 15. What we have done? 10 plus 5. So 10 plus 5. Because in the right side, if I'm adding, writing, then it means I'm going to add that much quantity. All right. Again, 26. So for the 26, first 20 and then 6. This is 6. Keep in mind. All right. And then again, 27. So what I will do for 27? Yes, for the 27, I'll write first 20 and then 7. Okay. And I'm writing here 28. Where's 28? Yes. 20 and then 8. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Uh, uh, some people write in small letters. That's also okay. But it is better to write always in the capital letter. That, uh, that is more better. All right. 29. So again, x and x. 20 and then 9. For 9, what do we represent? I x is the 9. And now for the 30. I told you that I x c and m can be repeated three times so if so then 10 20 and then 30 triple x so this 3x triple x together represent 30 okay uh, now next one sometimes triple x means something different also well uh, now let's write 31 so to write 31 we'll be writing first 3x together all right that is uh, 30 and again the same process as we did 30 and then one one 31 all right and then sorry 32 to write 32 again first I'll write 30 and then 2 okay and then 33 so to write 33 1 2 3 30 and then 1 2 3 all right 31 32 33 and now I'm writing 34 suppose so to write 34, first I'm writing 30, and then 4, 34, all right? And now let's write 35 here. 35 to write 35, same, same process, all right? First we'll be writing 30, oh, uh, that's pretty bad, 1, 2, 3, 30, and 5, okay? And now let's write 36, so what is 36 again? First 30, and then 6, 36. And again, 37, yep. So to write 37, again write 30, and then 7. Uh, this is my eye, it's looking so bad. 38, again 30, alright, and then 8. Uh, 35, 36, 37, 38. And now 39. Yes, it's looking very compli complicated, but it's very easy. It's not that much so... Part. Again, just we're going to add the same 9. 1, 2, 3, 30, and then 9. Here, this ix together is representing 9. Okay, keep in mind. And now for the 40. Hmm, this question comes here. What about uh, writing 4x together? 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Can't we do like this? What do you think? Can we do this? No way! We cannot write 4x together. It's wrong. Because in already in the rule, I, what I told that, yes, these things can be repeated maximum three times only. So uh, if, if you write this four times, then we will be making wrong. But we know one thing. Do you know that? The system is very great, you know. And whenever you get any problem, you will have the next symbol, right? Now see, we have we have 50 now. So in 50, I will subtract 10. Okay. So here, what do we what do you understand that x can be written as a uh, can can be subtracted from here? Yeah. One more thing, I'm I'm just gonna write here. Right. Uh, here I told you know what can be subtracted and what cannot be subtracted. So here, uh, I mean uh, here, just in front of that, you can. You can write always in front i, you can write x, and you can write c. These are only the things that you can subtract. But 
from which that again matters you're talking about i so where you can place i in which conditions you can place this i before 5 like this it, it means uh, it means uh, 4 same thing you can place i before 10 it is 10 and if you put here it means you're you're writing 9 all right uh, it is your 15 if you write here i then it becomes wrong so only these two cases are there before which you can put i now i'm talking about this x uh, before what numbers we can put this x yes this x can be uh, if uh, can be kept before before uh, before l you can keep like this it becomes now 40 similarly if this is 100 then you can put here x it means 100 minus x that is 90 all right these are only the two cases where you can put the x and now let's discuss about this c where you can put this c you can put this c uh, before d you know before d like this this is 500 and if you put here then it becomes 400 because uh, writing in the left side means you're subtracting one similarly if this is your m it means thousand and if you put before that you can uh, you can uh, say this is now it is 900 but one thing if you're writing before then you can write only one time while writing before you can only write one time keep in mind all right you cannot write here two times c uh, two, uh, subtracting 200 you cannot you cannot subtract all right because we have the way uh, like 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 suppose uh, this is your m all right and if you write here c it means 900 but if you write here one more c you might be thinking i'm going to write 800 but it's not 800 for that we had another very good great system, you know. I already told you Roman system is a very great system. Uh, we have another system like this. Uh, you first write D, that is 500, 600, 700, and 800, like this. All right, it's very easy. Later we'll come and we'll learn that. That's very easy. All right, first let's write uh, till 50, and after that uh, we'll be learning more. So for 40, I told you 50, all right, minus. 10 so 50 minus 10 that is 40 and now you can write in the same way 41 first write 40 and then 1 41 all right and then 42 again first write 40 and then add 1 and 1 so 42 now writing 43 what you'll do first you'll write 40 and then 41 42 and 43 again we cannot write four times so what we have yes we have this four writing four here uh, this one is 4 all right so for writing 44 I'm writing here 44 uh, first you need to write 40 all right and then 4 this is your 4 keep in mind uh, next one 45 so to write 45 you write first 40 and then 5 45 all right and then to write 46 what you'll do first you write 40 and then 6 similarly for 47 what you'll do you write first 40 and then 7. 1, 2, 3. Alright? Sorry, just 2, not 3. So it is 40, 5, 6, 7. Alright? Now you're writing 48. So to write 48, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48. Alright? And now 49. Again, the same process. 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. I can't write again four four ones together. It means I'm making it wrong. So instead of writing these things, what I have to do? I have to write here i x i x because nine means i x. I already told you, right? And now for the fifty, we know already that is l. All right. After that, very simple. You can write in the same process. It is fifty, right? So in fifty, if you add ten, what you'll get? Sixty. So you have 50 and you add uh, x, you'll get 60, all right? And similarly, uh, and, and then you can go like this, adding 1 and then adding 2 and adding 3 and so on. You can go, just just, just add 1, 2, 3, 4 that you have learned here. Uh, here you have learned 1, 2, 3, 4. Just add these things there, all right? And uh, L, x, each is 60. And then L, x, x means 2x. So it's 60 and then a 1x. So it becomes 70. Now 50, 60, 70, 80. Now you added maximum three times here. You already written the x three times. So now further you cannot. So what you'll do again? Uh, this is your L. And uh, no, you, you don't have to write L. I told you we have another system because every time, whenever you get problem, now 
I got a problem that I cannot write x four times. It means I have something new. What new I have? Yes, I have hundred. C means hundred. What we had learned recently here? C represents hundred. So since C is representing hundred, so what I will do to write ninety? I'm going to subtract ten from that. So C is hundred, and before x, if I'm writing, then it means I'm subtracting. It means it's ninety minus ten. That, sorry, hundred minus ten. That is ninety. All right. So I got ninety. And then again, uh, if you want to write 91, then you go here. If you want to write 92, you go here like this. And if you want to write suppose 95, then you write V. That's it. All right. And, and finally, you'll get C equals to 100. So uh, in next videos, I'll be doing some problems uh, between 50 to 50 to 100. Randomly, I'll give you some tips. And after that, we'll be writing 100 plus. So we'll be making uh, four, three or four more videos on Roman numerals and after that we will be solving a little bit problem uh, like adding, subtracting, 